Okay, hey everybody. We're uh, I want to do a, a quick problem that deals with uh, Snell's law and the uh, the angle of refraction. And so what we're going to look at is a um, a surface or an interface. And this interface up top we have air, and down below we have ethanol. And what we have is a um, a laser beam or a beam of light, a ray of light that is uh, incident upon this air ethanol interface here and uh, let's just fix that for a second and the uh, the angle of incidence that um, that we're gonna give is 37 degrees and um, one of the uh, the more important things when we're looking at this we uh, you have to understand that this is uh, always drawn with respect to the normal. So we draw a nice normal line, okay, and we'll call this 37 degrees. And um, the question is, is how this ray uh, moves once it comes into the ethanol. Um, and if you remember back to, uh, to some of the notes and things we talked about in class, um, what you're gonna wanna do is sort of imagine a set of wheels that's kind of riding down this ray um, and as it moves into the slower medium, because we can look up the index of refraction, the index of refraction for air is 1, the index of refraction for ethanol um, is 1.36, so it travels a little bit slower in ethanol. When, um, when this ray of light strikes the interface, if we imagine this set of wheels, as it hits that interface, this wheel here on this side is going to slow down a little bit, and so what we're going to end up seeing is when this finally moves into the uh, the new material, it's gonna get that right. It's gonna bend slightly towards the normal, and so this angle here is gonna be a little bit less than 37 degrees, and we can go ahead and calculate it and see what that looks like. And in order to calculate that, we need to use Snell's law. Okay, and this is what Snell's law is. N1 sine theta 1 is equal to N2 sine theta 2. And so we'll call the air N1 and we'll call the ethanol N2. This 37 degrees is theta 1. And so what we're looking here, what we're looking for here is um, theta 2. That's this variable here. And so what we can do is rearrange this equation using some algebra to solve for that theta 2. Um, and when we get that, or when we make that solution, we get theta 2 is equal to the arc sine of n1 sine theta 1 divided by n2. And uh, we have all the variables, right? We said that n1 is equal to 1, n2 is equal to 1.36, and theta1 is equal to 37 degrees. Um, and so when we make the substitutions, it looks sort of like this. Arc sine, n1 is 1.00. Then it would be the sine of 37 degrees. And that's all over N2, which is 1.36. And the parentheses, N theta 2 is equal to 26.3 degrees. Um, keeping uh, three significant figures, with the exception of that one, should be three significant figures. Um, and we have this angle here, and so this angle on the bottom here, theta 2 is equal to 26.3 degrees. And again, it works out, right? So like we said, because this index of refraction of ethanol is a little bit greater, um, it takes a turn towards the normal. And um, theta 2 is going to be less than theta 1. 
Um, make sure that, uh, that when you do these calculations, because we're using trig functions, that your calculator is always in degrees, if that's how we're measuring it. And, uh, and that's it. That's Snell's Law.